I'm here at Swindon Karting Arena today with two very special uh, Audi R8s. Now, the white car is running a Push Performance twin turbo kit and about 800 brake horsepower. Um, real rapid piece of kit. The other car is running a VF supercharger. Again, about 800 brake horsepower. So different ways of achieving similar power, but as we'll see shortly, they deliver it in a very different manner. I'm here with Ricky Elder from uh, RE Performance and we're in uh, a customer's 800 brake horsepower supercharged R8 GT. We're going to take it for uh, a quick launch, see what it can do. Over to you Ricky. Impressive. Yeah. Have you got a 0 60 time for this? Not, not officially. Yeah. Um, he's on cup two tyres at the moment, which, when they're cold, they're terrible. So. Yeah. And then when he's on, he's just a track driver, so all he does is go to track days. Yeah. Uh, he's ex racing driver, so he knows what he wants out of the car. It's a very um, linear pull, though, isn't it? As you'd expect yeah, from a supercharger. Yeah. Which was really what he wanted when he designed the car. Yeah. Um, or, or the conception of it was um, it had to be able to drive off the apex so the chassis had to be perfect and he wanted to be able to get on the power and it not unsettle the chassis when he did get on yep. uh, which was why he sort of wasn't too fussed on the turbo really uh, but yeah this thing is um, this thing's impressive he went and raced at a time attack British time attack yep. um, and he came second in class by 6,000th of a second to a thousand horsepower Evo that have been developed over a couple of years, so. Fair play, it's impressive stuff. So what sort of um, what sort of cost has been involved with building a car like this? Uh, well, the supercharger kit is basically 20 grand by the time you've got it into the UK. Yep. Um, so you can add that on the bill. He's gone for KWHLS system on suspension. Uh, the seats are two kilos. They're Technocraft carbon fiber one-piece seats. So your butt is probably right, David. yeah. Your butt is probably telling you that they're, uh, they're not for long journeys down to Monaco. Certainly on this bumpy bit of road here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's got full ARP body kit on it. Aero Motion's rear wing, which is DRS. Um, that on its own has cost more than any car I've ever bought. <laughs> uh, the steering wheel. I mean, this this steering wheel on its own is beautiful. Um, so I reckon it's got to be 50. It's got to be 50 grand spent yeah. on it. And that's on top of the price of the, on top the, of car, the car itself. Yeah, so it's a um, it's a Kingfisher Blue R8 GT, which is really rare. Yep. Um, the GTs command a premium price anyway. Uh, then all the bodywork he's had done, the little touches that have sort of, it all adds up. Um, but he lives in Bahamas and all he wants to do when he comes back is get in his track car, an RA GT supercharged. Go and enjoy it. And go and play. So he done mod balling it the other week, uh, drove it from London to Monaco, to uh, Barcelona, to Valencia, turned up at Valencia race circuit and just destroyed everything on track. Fair play. Got back in it, drove home. Job uh, done. And that's, that's what he wanted really. That's the really. beauty of the car. Yeah. So back with Ricky from RE Performance and uh, we've switched cars now, we're in an R8 Turbo this time. Yep, so this one belongs to uh, a client who lives nearby, owns a karting track, is an ex-racer, he's just a nut job. Um, and he just wanted the fastest thing he could possibly get his hands on. Yep. Um, so this is twin Owen Developments GTB 35s, so they're pretty big. Um, 
four Cyvex, uh, twin barrel coolers, charge coolers, uh, three inch straight pipes, two inch screamers. So quite loud then. This, yeah. Yeah. This is, Which we should hopefully hear in it in a yeah. moment. So, um, so this one's pretty nuts. Uh, it's a little bit too aggressive for launch, but we'll go pretty quick. Okay. What, what sort of power are we looking at with this uh, one? This is sat at the minute at six psi, and it's doing it's doing eight hundred. Fair play. Uh, so this will outrun the supercharged one we were in a moment ago. Yeah. And this hasn't even been turned up yet. So Good when stuff. she's finished, yeah, should be a monster. A weapon. So yeah, we'll okay. go for a little tickle. Over to you then. <laughs> and second gear wheel spin, so yeah, it's savage. Yeah, it's yeah. It still feels quite linear as well. It's not that kind of on-off. It's no. very progressive. Yeah, I mean the the down the downside to both of them is the gearbox. It's still a manual gearbox. It's the Artronic gearbox. Yeah, it's a single clutch like the old SMGs and the BMWs. Um, so the the gear shift is not as fast as a twin clutch or an Stronic. Uh, like that's in like the RS3s and that sort of thing. So that's what you're fighting against shift time, but my god, oh, it's, it's just spins the wheels all the time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Play. He's pretty happy with it, but we've already ordered a cylinder block for it, so it's got an engine build in the winter and... Bigger and better things. Yeah. Good stuff. No roads long enough in the something. He's <laughs> a monster. Gives you a neck workout. Yeah. Top man, it's good to compare the two. So you get out of the supercharged car into the yeah. turbo and just feel the difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's um, same sort of power output, same base car. Yeah. Two different animals. Yeah. Two different animals. <laughs> Yeah. 